A massive online open courses, the ones that we have with NPTEL. We have Coursera, we have multiple different platforms, but no one has a program that really asks you to come into centers and give exams and is that engaging like our program is. It's sort of a very unique program for everyone here as well. Yeah, and it can take you to places. They offer TA ships, they offer RA ships, and once you do them, you're on campus, you have multiple opportunities. Just make the most out of it, I would say. Don't take it as like a side degree that you're doing with your original degree. I would say take it as something where you can get a lot of opportunities. If you do well, put in all that you can here. Yeah, things things will happen. The TA ship that you get on campus is when you have a CGPA above 8. I think four things that are required for a good application. First, I would say is LORs. Second is SOP. Third is your resume. Fourth is your exam scores. LORs is like a big part of it. The people who are writing it for you uh, really matter. So which is where my application really stood out to people. It helped me with technicalities. That's all. In terms of experience, in terms of grabbing these opportunities, I think it was solely IITM that made it happen. I was there for a TA ship, I was there for an RA ship, and I got to meet people on campus, which is why everything happened the way it happened. My previous degree only helped in terms of eligibility at some places. There's one more thing that I would like to mention. I know about this, that NPTEL has uh, this program wherein uh, if you're a topper of some courses, or some course, if you are a topper of one of the courses that you take on NPTEL, then you get the opportunity to maybe come and work with the professor that whose course you aced. That can be another door. So IITM basically has a lot of doors that open to you once you're in this program or you do an NPTEL course. These kind of, I haven't seen these uh, opportunities coming up in anywhere else, I would say. You have to start your process of figuring out which school you have to go to, which program you have to apply to at least six months before. You have to write your uh, statement of purpose. SOP is a very big part of your application. Figure out your letter of recommendations. There are most of the applications uh, require three letter of recommendations wherein one le letter of recommendation has to come from someone who has taught you before and others can be from industry. It's said that studying in America is a very costly affair. Yes, it is costly, but you you can help yourselves by applying to scholarships. So when these applications go out, at that same time, they also have financial aid office. Every university has that. Sometimes when you just apply for a program, they have it integrated. They are going to give you a scholarship based on your application itself. So you don't have to apply externally. But some institutes have it separate. They need you to apply to those separately. Just keep a note of the deadlines and when they are. Outside of that, there are a couple of external scholarships that you can apply to. You can find those scholarships in the university financial aid section. If you work as a TA or an RA on campus, you can get a LOR. It has happened because I've had very nice friends that I've met through this degree. I've had peers who've helped me through my courses. I have a friend who helped me through the entire math stats, MLF, MLT, and everything. So uh, he was like my personal tutor. Yeah, I think uh, having peers around you, uh, them helping you through the course really, really helps you. Thank you so much. Big thanks to IIT.